Guys, in today's video, we will uh, demonstrate how to post a manual outgoing payment in S SAP S4 HANA system. For that, we will go to Payments group and uh, uh, we'll go to Post Outgoing uh, Payments uh, application or app. Various fields will be shown uh, which we need to fill up. Here we want to see the effect of payment blo blocking reason uh, it was selected and uh, also want to attempt to post a manual outgoing uh, payment first, firstly and then we'll remove the payment block and post a partial payment for half of the amount. So we'll select the uh, by, uh, company code and the posting date and general entry date. Uh, we'll keep it same. And then there is a value date which is also same and then we'll choose the GL account bank cash payment we need to select the bank account And we need to select the account ID and then uh, we'll enter the amount as well and then the supplier We'll input the currency code and uh, then we'll go to supplier and we will select the supplier. Okay, now it is done and we need to now check by posting the entry. So the balance amount is shown at the top right in so here the line items are uh, So here it is showing that it is, it is not activated due to online payment block. So you can't post it uh, because it has a payment block. Okay, so select this line item and uh, we'll edit it. So here there are various lines and uh, uh, we, we need to check the first line number which has the payment block here. So we'll go to the first line item and uh, we will cl click on that line item and you can see here in item payment block it, B is placed the reason code. Uh, so this line is blocked so we need to uh, remove the block here and uh, once we have uh, removed the block we'll go back to journal entry and uh, and save it so that the payment, payment block is lifted our changes are saved and uh, once it is saved then we can go on to the you know the process option here we are and uh, here once we clear and it is not ticked it means the payment block is removed and it is available for posting so i will post it and uh, 
so in the allocated amount also we need to uh, enter amount which is 1380 amount in allocated and then we need to post this one it means this much amount I'm uh, paying against the invoice so it is showing the um, journal has been posted the payment journal so after this we need to check also uh, how many uh, line item supplier still has in open status which are not yet paid or settled for that we need to go to SAP uh, Fury interface again by clicking on the logo of SAP and then we need to select the manage supplier line items app uh, from the supplier accounts group so this is the supplier accounts group and uh, from the menu we need to uh, select the supplier accounts account group and then we need to select manage supplier line items app <laughs> We need to input here the you know the supply in the supplier filter we need to enter the supplier uh, filter we need to sele uh, select the supplier and we'll uh, press the go button. So it will show our our line items which are still pending. So it means these uh, the clearing has not taken place because it was a partial payment uh, in our last payment journal which we posted the payment voucher and uh, that's why it is not yet clear and it will show here then we'll uh, check the supplier balance after this we need to go uh, we need to exit by clicking on sap uh, sap logo to check now because you know the total here is uh, credit uh, 1000 euro and uh, we need to go to check the supplier balance it is located in supplier accounts group and uh, display supplier balances app yeah here it is and again we need to provide the supplier number the company code is missing here So here is the total balance shown also in display uh, supplier balances and uh, the balance is uh, the credit balance uh, which is which we already saw in previous screen so it is uh, matching uh, both the screens are matching here so that's it uh, thank you for watching my video and please subscribe to my channel to see more sap s4 hana videos they are coming up and uh, more about different topics about d365 and uh, you know open source and all the options are uh, i will record the videos and please subscribe to my channel thank you very much for your time